Hi guys, EBP Man here with Tablets for Me. And today we're going to take a look at a wireless sports headset. And this headset is the model Baso headset brought to us by Mixter. Inside the box you'll have your Bluetooth headset, some ear gels, a user guide, and a nice carrying case. Before we get started with the review of the headset, let's take a look at some of the specs right here. First of all, this headset is running Bluetooth 4.1. It does support A2DP in a lot of the standard formats that you see out there for Bluetooth protocols. It weighs 18 grams, so it's a very light headset, and has a connection distance, a Bluetooth distance of 10 meters, which is pretty standard when it comes to headsets. The charging duration is anywhere from one to two hours, and you'll be able to get uh, up to four or to five hours uh, on one charge. Standby time is up to 100 hours. Now, the, the headset itself uh, is very flexible, and if we take a look at the headset now, it's uh, made out of, uh, it's not a flat core technology, but you can see it's round core technology. And it has a, I would say, a unique form fitting ear support model. So, what you have here is a very plastic, soft finish material that wraps around the back of your ear. And I've been uh, taking these out for a couple runs already, and I can tell you that they're very comfortable to wear. Um, you don't get the sense of them falling out. Uh, and noise isolation is pretty good with these. These go uh, pretty deep into your ear and they have a lot of flexibility when it comes to turning them around and adjusting them so you can move them up and you can move them down. So really it's going to give you the flexibility to have the the best fit you can and again this ear piece that goes behind your ear you can see how flexible it is. It's uh, soft and it's able to really take um, a lot of um, beating or, or flexibility when it comes to adjusting it to the size of your ears. Uh, the one thing I wanted to highlight is that this does uh, support phone calls and these are multi-function buttons that you see here so what I can do is the center button I can press to it's my play pause but it's also the button that I press to answer an incoming call you do have um, you know volume rockers here which serve as multi-function buttons as well so you can twice to skip to the next song twice to go back a song and also you press and hold to increase or decrease the volume uh, charging the the headset is pretty straightforward so you have this area here that opens up stick my nail in here and here is where you would charge your headset and that's using a micro USB charging port which is great to have standards now one of the things I do find in while this has an inline mic here um, this is probably of the headsets that I reviewed to date the the control module here is a little bit heavier than most headsets that I've used. So while you wear this by putting this uh, on your ears, the cord goes behind your neck, you'll notice that they've included this little clip and I think they did that so that you can clip this onto your shirt because this is a heavier module. This is where your battery is and then this is where all your controls are. So I do find that it's a little heavy. Um, again, not incredibly heavy or distracting, but it's heavier than some of the other ones that I have reviewed on the channel. Now from an audio perspective, I'd say that uh, the headset is very light on the bass. So if you're the type of person that likes a lot of bass, deep bass, this headset is not for you. It is, however, a very clear. Um, it plays music very clearly. So you can hear um, the highs and the mids very well, and it is extremely clear. So you can hear the words really nice, and they're crisp. But it's not heavy in the bass whatsoever. It's kind of really hard to get the bass. So if again, if you're a bass person, uh, this is probably not the headset for you. But if you're looking for something that is comfortable to take on a run and you want to make sure that the headsets don't fall out of your ears, this is a good headset to consider. So this concludes our review of the uh, Basso sports headset brought to us by Mixter. If you have any comments or questions about this product, please leave it on the YouTube channel. I want to thank uh, Mixter uh, for giving the product to us for review and also would like to thank you for watching this video. Uh, once again, if you uh, have any comments or questions, leave it on the YouTube channel. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.